In a previous video, I suggested that as web professionals, it's our job to educate our clients and colleagues that there is so much that they need to know about digital so that digital becomes ubiquitous and everyone across the organization um, is using it. But what exactly should we be teaching them? What are the important things that they need to know? Now, I'm sure you have all kinds of ideas about specific things that your clients and colleagues need to learn about digital in order to make use of it in their jobs. But what I wanna do is share with you five more general lessons that I think we need to be teaching our organizations. And we're gonna start with the idea that digital is more than a marketing tool. I think so many of our clients and colleagues have quite a narrow view of what digital is but it can be so much more than a marketing tool, can't it? We know that it's a wonderful customer support tool. It's great for developing products collaboratively with clients, that it helps with things like supply chain management or making us more productive in the way we work. We really need to broaden our view and broaden the view of our clients and colleagues. We need to introduce them to the alternative working practices the things like 37 Signals Remote Book or, the, uh, or tools like Get Satisfaction that enable you to get feedback from customers in such a cheap and approachable way or tools like Basecamp that allow collaborative working in ways previously unable, we would have been unable to do. Then there are all the insights that we can get from analytics and user testing and the, uh, the tools available in that area where we can get a better understanding of our customers than would have previously been possible. There is so much that digital and the web can offer us as businesses beyond just marketing and we need to teach our colleagues and our clients about those. The second area I wanna mention is the idea that digital is just a tool. I think sometimes we get a bit overly focused on digital, don't we? We see it as this kind of silver bullet that can solve all our problems or, or a quick fix solution to different things. So our clients and colleagues will come to us going, hey, there's this thing called Instagram now. We need to be on Instagram because that'll, you know, that'll make us rich and famous in some way. And people jump on these bandwagons and because they're focused on the tool itself rather than what they're trying to achieve. So we need to teach them that digital is not the thing we should be focusing on. We should be focusing on our business objective and that digital is part of the solution for achieving that business direct, uh, objective. Not the whole thing, but a part of it. The next area that I think we need to be teaching our clients and our colleagues about is the fact that digital has empowered our customers to a ridiculous level. For a long time, it was very hard for our customers to find the competition and then move to the competition. Now it is ridiculously easy. The competition are a click away, so they have more choice than they've ever had before but also they have got a bigger stage to complain on. If you leave a customer feeling unhappy, they can let the world know and every future prospect will read what they have said. The web now is full of people complaining and moaning about products and services. What does that mean? It means that customer service is now more important than it's ever been before. Yes, customer service has always been important, and yes, the really switched on companies have always been doing it, but a lot of companies have been coasting in this area, and now it's come into sharp focus that we need to provide outstanding customer service. And I believe that customer service is the big differentiator in the modern marketplace, and we need to be paying a lot more attention to it. Digital has also lowered the barrier of entry, and that has big ramifications as well. There was a time, wasn't there, where if you were a musician, you would need to be signed up for, to a record label to reach the market. There was a time where if you were a journalist, you had to work for a media outlet. There was a time when if you were an author, you needed a publisher. 
But systematically, digital has undermined those existing structures, have knocked down those gatekeepers, the, the publishers, the record labels, the media outlets, and, and allowed people to publish themselves, allowed anybody to be a journalist, a musician, an author. And that has radically changed a whole number of sectors that were based on having control. If your business is about having control of your sector, about being the middleman, then you're probably in trouble and you need to be aware of that. But there are other areas that are beginning to be affected too. Other areas where the barrier for entry is coming down. Take, for example, funding. Venture capitalists are soon going to be in danger because of Kickstarter and those kinds of options. Even distribution is becoming easier. Not just electronic distribution. We've already seen how that's decimated HMV and Tower Records where you don't go into a shop to buy music anymore, but even physical distribution. Amazon now will pack your products and send them out for you. So there's a lot less distribution problems. But we might even see some changes in manufacturing as well. With 3D printing coming along, we're gonna see an increase in cottage industries building and producing their own products. And that could be very interesting. The barrier to entry in all these kinds of areas is coming down and that means more competition that's more nimble and can outmaneuver you if you're not very, very smart. The final area that I think we need to be teaching our colleagues and our clients is the area of flexibility and speed. Digital demands a flexibility and speed that is not in existence in most organizations. Change has always been fast. We've seen fast change, that's nothing new, but it is getting even faster. And not only that, but the change is becoming less predictable. We don't know what's around the corner. We don't know what's gonna happen next. And that creates some challenges for us. And our company structures are not flexible and not adaptable enough to be able to handle these changes. We just don't move fast enough in a lot of companies. And we need to tell our clients and our colleagues that their committee structures, that their standard operating procedures don't work anymore. They're not flexible and fast enough for the digital economy. And that they need to start adapting the way that they operate so that they're riding the wave of change rather than trying to control it. There's so much, isn't there, that we need to teach organizations about digital and how to handle digital. And I think we're still at the very beginning of all of this. I've shared with you five general points we need to be um, teaching our colleagues and our clients, but I'm really interested in what more specific things you feel you have to teach your clients and your colleagues. So let me know in the comments.